Oh, oh, boy, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Y suscribe. Wow. Thanks, Tom Thibodeau, for, like, doing Tom Thibodeau things. Apparently, OJ Nanobi has started light work on the court. What does that mean? Uh, he's doing light work on the court now. So he's doing light work on the court now. What do you guys think that means? Did we need to hear about that? I don't know if we needed to hear about that. The usually ambiguous Tom Thibodeau. <laughs> Some of these guys are trolling Alex B. I've seen him on, on, on Twitter before. He's kind of these guys are kind of like trolls or whatever. Um, well, OG is trending out here because of that. And I was just looking up to see anything else that was trending. Uh, again, that's all we're getting is OG and Anobi getting light work on the court. I don't think Papa left. He's always, yeah, I seen him on Twitter. He's a, he's a good dude. He's funny too. He's crazy. I think he's kind of crazy. Uh, he said he doesn't have any confidence the Knicks can win versus the Pacers without OG. Yeah, I don't. I see the that's a, that's a, those are the top tweets, but I don't see anything with OG that's like no OG hurts the Knicks so much. Such a effing loss. I'm blaming Terrence for the OG injuries. He's playing dudes forty plus minutes. Again, I don't agree with anybody saying the injuries are is Tom Thibodeau's fault. That's kind of crazy. I did want to touch on this though. I think we missed this from from May seventh. Um, Tom Crean saying that at some point, OG Ananobi wants to be a defensive player of the year. You mentioned OG Ananobi when he got traded to the Knicks. Did you think that would be a really good fit for him? Absolutely, without question. I remember getting asked in in a, in a couple of interviews, and I said it automatically changed the East. And really? I, I, there was no question. Absolutely. There was no question because he was exactly what they didn't have. He was excited to be there. Uh, he was he's he's the perfect. He's the closest thing defensively that that Tom had had since Jimmy Butler, you know, in Jimmy Butler's heydays, especially early on with the way that he had him defending, especially early on in Chicago. Right. The way that he could guard. So many people OG Ananobi wants to be the defensive player of the year at some point he, he definitely wants to be on that all defensive team and that's another thing that's that's driving Anthony Edwards now you know over the last couple of years that maybe wasn't early as he wants to be on that type of team you mentioned OG Ananobi when he got traded to the Knicks did you think that would be a really oh, so that, good that was him? absolutely that was Tom Crean I think he was speaking to that sounds like Frank Isola uh he's so he's speaking to OG Ananobi's <laughs> he's speaking to OJ Denobi's uh as Jalen Brunson dances with Devin Chenzo while here in these streets <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> we need this Brunson out here tonight. You come out here dancing after uh, and one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he hit him with the with the doggy. I guess he heard OG was going a little questionable for game five. <laughs> well, he seems, I guess, at the very least, he's motivated, right? OG and Anobi. And um, as Tom Thibodeau has has stated, that he OG and Anobi is doing light work. He's doing light work. According to SNY, and again, you know, I've been talking about him for since after those first couple games with him on the team. I said, "Yeah, there's nothing like this in the NBA. There's barely anything like it." We had a great conversation yesterday. All ball, shout out to all ball, shout out to Flea about very how do they say impassioned argument about OG and Anobi and re-signing him. That's a big deal. Um, I don't know if rushing him, I think we, it's such a crazy place to be in the world history, especially with, when it comes to medicine, 
Um, I'm not going to deep dive into the pandemic and, of course, whatever side you were on. I don't want because that gets too crazy. But I always I was always defending Kyrie when it came to his position because you have athletes who are just in super shape. And if anybody, if there's anybody we should be watching when it comes to medicine and how they respond to it, it's the athletes. They're the ones that are cheating, for lack of a better term. They're taking all kinds of products to be able to perform uh, just and give, exert everything physical possible, physically possible, right? So we don't do that. Like the normal, I'm 5'7", 190 pounds right now. I got to drop 20 pounds. Yo, Drake, let me get some of that OZ, that OZ, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have, I got flea in my ear. Uh, Like, like Professor X, he's telling me, Fabe, Fabe, stay on track. So we perform like normal people, right? Like they perform on a daily basis. They probably take all, anything under the sun. Um legal illegal we've seen it we've seen kobe take you know spin blood to put in his knee when it was illegal and now it's it's the it's the common thing i probably think a lot of those that stuff from balco from 25 years ago 20 years ago was illegal a lot of it's probably legal now i remember the guy victor conti was that was got locked up for the for the balco thing he was talking about the whole island of jamaica was on something new when they were killing the olympics a couple of years back and you know we just got to accept that though like these are the guys that are going to take these products to be willing to stay on the floor and OG and Anobi, what a case because he hasn't been able to perform consistently throughout his whole career. He was he was on the bench. That wasn't his fault when he was on the bench when he went they won the championship. Damn, imagine if he played. Like, see, we bring up the Golden State Warriors being injured that year and that and the, the Raptors got lucky. Now that we, we know what we know about Ojin and Obi, if he's healthy, what is Golden State doing with that and Kawhi Leonard? Now that, that and that's something I never thought of until he became a Nick and had this run. Um, but I digress. Point is, OG, we would love to see any miracle Captain America drug be given to him and be able to perform in the playoffs but not over your long-term health, especially the next four years, which is the contract you're looking forward to. But, I mean, if you're able to come back for the playoffs and look healthy and show resistance to injuries now, you know, there's just the reality of things we have to deal with and just the, the marriage of modern science and medicine and real-time experiments taking place with these dudes on the court. Because this is crazy. It's really some X-Men-ish that we're dealing with. X-Men 97, on a side note, by the way, I don't know if you guys enjoy that, but I fell asleep during the fir first episode. And, <laughs> and even the first, even the first, uh, going back to the first iteration, I think my son was right. It was kind of boring, man. But this is what it feels like. It feels like we're X-Men. I got OG Nanobi might be Nightcrawler, one of these dudes. And, you know, he's not quite Wolverine. He's not quite Invincible. Who the hell is invincible? LeBron is the only guy close to Wolverine, right? And who else that we think is? Kawhi certainly ain't. Who else is the Iron Man out here that we're going to talk about? Is somebody we're going to talk about? Oh, Julius Randle was, right? Yeah. But anyway, so light work. I hope we don't rush him. Like, none of us want to rush Ojin and Obi to the court, right? I think we none of us would ever want to do that. Like, no. We'll sacrifice whatever this year if we get... Well, this is my opinion. I'll sacrifice this season if it means you're around the next four or five years with four or five other chances of a championship because that's what he means to me now. That's what he means to us now. That's what Grant Hill meant 20, 25 years ago. And they sat Tim Duncan down as a result of, of, of Grant Hill attempting to play in a playoff game when were the Pistons really going to win a championship, right? Tim Duncan and the Spurs, they saw that. They saw The Spurs saw Duncan as a warrior, but, bro, we ain't letting you play if it means we lose the next five or ten chances at a championship. It doesn't make any sense. So, Oji in my in my opinion, the fact that he's even this motivated and vocal about trying to be the defensive player of the year, that's what's in his DNA. 
I love the way he talks to Flea's point yesterday. He sounds he sounds speaking of scientists, he sounds like one, like a doctor. I think he does him and his brother. His brother quit the NFL to become a doctor, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, just they they got that special DNA. I don't know if that's an old ditty, but I gotta say no ditty just in case they got that special DNA. <laughs> Drea, you made a mistake. You should have been going after this guy. What's the other girl? The other uh the other uh veteran groupie. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, the veteran uh <laughs> housewife. Please, please in my ear. Fabian, stay on track. OJ and Anobi is a hot commodity out here, is the point. These guys are smart, intelligent, genius athletes, man. Come on. Like, what he does is not normal. Being able to guard one through five beyond just surely missed, it hurts. Like, I, I said it the other day, man. Just to be this optimistic, and, and, it's, and it's a real optimism. Anyone who wasn't watching the shout out to my, my guy, Joe Rose, he called me the other day. He said, yo, I ain't going to lie. I didn't know OG was this good. I told him, hey, I ain't going to lie either. I didn't know he was that good either. <laughs> I didn't know he was that good till he got here. Like, second all defense, led the league in steals is one thing. That's one thing. Donovan Mitchell led the league in steals. He's not a great defender. Being able, being able to guard and, and bother. We see what happened how uh, with the Nuggets, for instance. They had to adjust Cat on Joker and turn the series around after being down 0-2 in Denver. You know, it was cool to them. I was dead wrong. I had them. All you guys. I don't know where you guys come from, man. Who is the Wizard of Oz out here talking about the mainstream media wrote off the Denver Nuggets? Well, I'm mainstream media too now then. Barry Horowitz. I wrote them off. But you saw the way Denver had to combat or counter the cat coverage on Joker. That's what, in my opinion, OG and Anobi provided and provides for us for the next four or five years. Next rehab. Yeah. Oh, oh, boy, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Y suscribe.